Hey guys, Ash here from Escape Studios. Welcome back to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today's tip is really important for when you want to do a show reel. It's how to do a wireframe render. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a simple polygon primitive sphere. I'm going to select my sphere. I've already got a render here and I'm going to render on every step just so that you can see how we move through this. I'm going to right click over my sphere, sign favorite material surface shader, hit render. Now obviously this is a black surface shader on a black background so you can't see anything. I'll just check the alpha. Yes, there's still something there. So the out color of my surface shader, I'm going to put on gray. And there you go, just a solid gray render. Also, make sure you're doing this in Mental Ray, not Maya's renderer. Okay, so I'm gonna go rendering editors, hyper shade, and there's my surface shader in the hyper shader. I'm gonna select it and then click this button, which is show in and out connections. And that's gonna show me now the shading group for the surface shader. I've clicked on the shading group and got a nice bunch of different options now. In the Mental Ray tab, you'll see a little tab called contours. Contours are what give us the wireframe render, okay? So I'm gonna click Enable Contour Rendering. The color's white, which is fine. White will show up on gray. I'm gonna leave everything else as it is. I hit render and nothing's changed, okay? So let's go into our render settings. Go into the Features tab and you'll see at the bottom of the Features tab, there's a little tab called Contours. Once I bring that down, you can see there's an option for Enable Contour Rendering. So I'll enable Contour Rendering, hit render again and nothing's changed. Okay, that's because we haven't told Maya which contours to render. So back in the contour settings, draw by property difference is the next tab down. And I'm going to just click the top two boxes around all silhouettes, around all poly faces. Okay, now when you hit render, aha, white lines have appeared. Fantastic. Now they're looking a little bit thick to me. So I'm going to go back into the surface shader group. I'm going to change the width. Let's go ooh, less than half, I think. That's looking a little bit more like it, but they're not as smooth as I'd like. Now I can change that by going to the oversampling back in the features tab. Let's take that up to three, just as an example. Now uh, you might not be able to see that so well on YouTube, but it's definitely made the lines a little bit smoother. And everybody's models are gonna be a little bit different, so you, you may have to play with the settings a little bit. You may have to play with the width. You may have to play with the oversampling. Possibly, but not probably, you might have to change the box type. Chances are though, perhaps just a little bit of fiddling between the width and the oversampling and you can get an awesome looking wireframe render. So obviously you want to use this when you're making your show reel, when you're making breakdowns because it shows off that you understand topology and that you know how to make an efficient model. Okay guys, we hope that's helped some of you out who are getting ready to put your show reels together. Check out our friend Deep Fried Ectoplasm. He's got an amazing tutorial on how to do wireframe renders with ambient occlusion shaders. It's fantastic. Uh, hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of our videos and we'll see you next time.